Okay, here we have a word problem. Eric works eight hours a day, five days a week, and earns $13 per hour. Sandy works 37 hours per week and earns $15 per hour. Who earns more? Like, in a week. It should say, who earns more in a week? And how much more? Okay, Eric and Sandy. Let's just try to organize our thoughts. Eric. How much would he earn? Or what do you need to calculate to find out Eric's earnings in one week? He works five days a week and eight hours a day. So how many hours does he work in a week? You see, you need to multiply eight times five to get how many hours he works in a week. And then it says he earns $13 per hour, $13 in each hour. So then this needs multiply by the 13, right? So this is 40 times 13. Now Sandy, what do we need to calculate to find Sandy's earnings in a week? She works 37 hours and earns $15 for each hour. So this is the thing we need to calculate for Sandy. Okay. And now we just go to multiplication work. Eric, we have 13 times 40. All right, if you remember the previous lesson, when we multiplied by whole tens, this is that kind, so I have like a shortcut. I put a zero here in the beginning, then I just call four times three, and then four times one plus one, and I'm done, okay? The next one, 37 times 15. Okay, first ignore the 1, we go 5 times 37. 5 times 7, 5 times 3, plus 3, 18. And then, 1 times 7, but remember, the 0, yeah. 1 times 7, 1 times 3 and add 555. Five, five. Okay, who earns more? Sandy earns more. How much more? We have 520, 555, so that's easy to see. $35 more in a week. Okay, so that was a long problem a little bit, but it was fun anyway, right? Well done with this lesson.